months we're in the half done studio space um i'm about to run out and do some errands but i wanted to check my stash right now because um i am oh it's starting to rain i signed up for a test knit and i wanted to check and see before i went out if i have any yarns that could work for the test knit and I think I have a few wool options here with me. Um, first one that I'm thinking of is I actually, this is a finished object, but I didn't love how it turned out. This is the Mod Saw sweater. Um, ooh, I can't remember who the designer is. I'll put it on the screen, but... Um, this yarn is Bebop by Dancing Leaf Fibers, I think it is, Dancing Leaf Yarns. Um, and the colorway is Barbie. I love it so much. It's such a fun colorway. And I actually have, I'm fairly certain I have another skein of this yarn. Let me, let me look. I'm pretty sure I do have another skein of this yarn. So I could very easily um, just frog this sweater and make it into the test knit. And I think it would be really nice the test, or I'm not sure if I can talk about the test knit, but it is in garter stitch, so I think the variegation of this yarn would be really nice. And I, I'm pretty sure I need something like 400 grams of yarn. So this is an option. The other option I have was reserved for another, oh my gosh. Can you guys hear that? Is it kind of cozy to hear the rain? I don't know. This yarn was reserved for the Rivendell or Rivendale V-neck sweater um, by Sari Nordland, but I also thought this could be cute in um, a garter stitch garment. This is Cece's wool. I was. This is from uh, Maryland Sheep and Wool Festival. I was in her booth for like a while trying to figure out what kind of yarns that I want. And I even, she had some tweeds that were really, really cute. And I might even order some um, because the sample knit is in a tweed yarn and I just thought it was really cute. But this is an option. This is the colorway Peppermint Stick, or yeah, Peppermint Stick from Cece's Wool. Um, and I have, four skeins of this, so that should also be enough. Hmm, this might not be enough. So since it's garter stitch, I'm, I'm sure it'll eat up a little bit more yarn than a regular stockinette stitch. So we'll see. I have like a thousand yards of this. And then the other The other wool option I have is some Hobby Lobby Yarn Bee. Um, the colorway is Stonework. Um, I don't really love this yarn colorway. Um, I'm fine like working with it, but the colorway just isn't really me. But if I end up, I was thinking I could hold these skeins double. I have six of them. Um, hold them double and start at different points of the um, skein so that it's not so starkly striped maybe. I hope that makes sense. Like holding them maybe like one starts in the purple and one starts in the cream. I don't really know. That's kind of what I'm thinking though. 
um, if I do end up doing that one. But I also have a lot of acrylic yarn left over from starting my knitting journey. So I'm going to look through that as well. I have a lot of this Hobby Lobby um, stonework. So it could be that this is what I go for. It's 100% Superwash Merino, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 100% Superwash Merino. So it would be very pilly. I do have some white uh, mohair, but I'm not really like a mohair person. So we'll see. Uh, I'm going to look through my acrylics and then show you those options as well. I have three op I have three options for acrylic yarns. This yarn is the one that I was thinking of immediately as I was signing up for the test knit. It is Big Twist Value, 100% acrylic. Um, the color is Light Rose, and it's a really pretty pink. I'm not sure if it's going to wash me out a whole lot. Um, but this one was one that I was immediately thinking of when I signed up because I love pink and I think it would be really cute for this sweater. Another one that I have is this Karen Simply Soft in the colorway Light Country Blue. This one I think is also a really good option because I think it looks really good on me. Um, and the shine, I, I am leaning towards a lighter color because I feel like the texture will um, be highlighted uh, and more visible in a lighter color rather than a darker color. So that is what I'm thinking. So this lighter blue looks cute. It's really, none of these are really soft, but um, like especially compared to the merino wool that I have, but um, most of my sweaters I layer with anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Um, another one that I'm thinking of is the Basic Stitch Anti-Pill from Lion Brand. The colorway is Sage. I'm pretty sure I already have a sweater in this color, but I have a few more skeins of this yarn and um, I'm pretty sure I enjoyed working with this. It's just whether or not I want to have two sweaters in the same color, which isn't really like a huge problem. I also like this color on me. So the last one that I have that is I'm a little iffy about. It's crazy soft, but it is so super warm. Not really sure how I will feel about having something so warm on my body that is this texture. Texture-wise, if I get sweaty, I think I'm just gonna have like ooh, sensory issues, but it's the Burnett, Burnett? bundle up for babies of course it's really soft and the colorway is marshmallow i really like i i made a like neck scarf collar thing um from vert and rose i can't remember what the pattern name is but it's incredibly warm so i do like this yarn for accessories and things like that, that I can, my friend's back. <laughs> um, I do like this for accessories where you can take it off if it gets too warm or if um, you're just like out and about, things like that. But I don't know if I would like this in a sweater. So I think I'm gonna say no to that one. Let's touch all these to my neck. This one feels okay. This one's a little scratchy, so I'm gonna say no. This one I already have a sweater in. These two are okay. So, options. I'm definitely going to be swatching for this 
um, pattern because all of these are not necessarily the uh, yarn gauge or uh, suggested needle size that the pattern calls for. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, um, I have a lot of options, so I don't need to go out shopping for any more yarn. <laughs> Thank goodness. And I can get some of this stuff out of my um, stash before the Shenandoah Valley Fiber Festival. Good work, team. <laughs> here at my first thrift stop so let's go in and see what they have I don't know if I can film in there I will try maybe just show you guys some bits that I like and then um we'll see what we get <laughs> Every time I go in that thrift store, they think I'm like 12, which is fine because I have colored hair and it's short and things like that, but oh my god. Um, got some goodies there and I think I'm gonna go drop off my recycling and head to another thrift store and then Lowe's for paint. video of um this old sewing machine like table legs and I was really considering it because I thought it would be really cute to put like just like a piece of wood on top and then have that be where I put my sewing machines on um but it was like a hundred dollars but it was on sale, so it was like $80, but I think I would prefer to have like a larger table anyways, so I had to pass up on it, but it was so cute. I, I love like, I my family jokes that I have grandma aesthetic, so I guess I'm just a grandma. Hi friends, um, I wanted to give you a little update on my knitting. I am like, I just got stung by a wasp, so I'm trying to like calm myself down and be relaxed. The adrenaline is crazy. <laughs> but I wanted to give you all an update on this um, improvised but inspired by stripe overload polo. I have the collar here. Can you see it? Collar. I'm loving the colors. I am working this. So I did the collar in a rib. I started with 100 stitches and every other round I decreased one on each side and I'm, I also slipped the first stitch of each row. 
and then um, I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven decrease rows. And was it eleven? I think it was eleven <laughs> decrease rows. And then I started doing some short row shaping. Let's see there, I think it's like. five stripes, so 10, ten um, rows of short row shaping, um, while also increasing for the raglans. So that has been what I have been up to knitting wise. Here is what it looks like on, and I just moved my beginning of round to the back left shoulder so that you don't see any jogging in the front. But I'm liking how it's looking. It's very cute. Did I tell you all? I am, I knit the rib in four and a half millimeter and I'm knitting the body in five millimeter. And let's see, what else? Um, my goal knit wise for starting the raglans was around 80 stitches so that is what I did I decreased from 100 on the collar to 79 um, but I knew I was going to be casting on a few stitches in the front um, to connect it in the round and so I was like, you know what, it's close, it's literally close enough to 80 that I don't really need to worry about it. So that is what I did. And um, uh, I'm still like really paranoid about bugs. <laughs> so I'm just trying to calm down um, and get some knitting done. So that's what we're gonna do now. And let's see, what else are we going to do today? That might be it. I went into Lowe's yesterday and I didn't film really anything because it took literally forever for me to get anybody to help me at the paint counter. <laughs> so after that, I was just like, done. Um, but I did style some of my uh, thrift finds from yesterday. If you all want to see, maybe I can take you around and show you what I did with them. Honestly, most of the stuff in my house is thrifted. Um, so <laughs> if you all want a thrifted decor tour, I would be happy to show you all. Um, like I said, I have grandma aesthetic, so if that's up your alley as well, let me know. And uh, I think I'm just going to continue knitting and bring you all along with me. have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this different style of video, kind of vloggy, but also progress on my sweater. Um, speaking of, I have knit, I think, 15 or so more rows on the raglan increases, so I'm just working raglans right now. Um, some of the footage in the previous clips the audio is really bad and I'm learning what to do and what not to do. So I hope you bear with as we continue on this making journey. Um, what else was I going to say? 
a if you liked the thrifting bits in here let me know i can do like a thrifted home tour where i show you everything that i've gotten from the thrift stores because it is a lot uh other than that i think next week i will have a another knitting podcast for you hopefully i can start on my test knit soon um, I'm going to swatch some bits up here today or this weekend. Um, we have family coming. My my husband's brother and sister are staying with us. So we're going to make some dumplings today and we're going to hang out and have fun. Um, other than that, I guess I'll see you next week. Hopefully I can keep rolling with the weekly updates. And I guess that's it. If you liked this video, and if you like knitting, sewing, fiber things in general, that's what we do around here. So subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you're working on. I am always looking for new projects, so share what you're up to. Um, other than that, I hope you're having a good day, a good week a good month, a good year. I hope all your crafts are crafting and I will see you next week. Bye.